Hey guys, Thrasher here. We have a new banner and a new update. Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so first things first, the PvP season has ended. Make sure to go over there and get your rewards. And let's move into the actual news itself. So news up top here. The banner should be at the top. It is. We will talk about that last. And let's start at the very bottom here. A couple major things. Um, part 4, we got a new part to the story, which is Part 4, Book 3. Make sure to get that done. The anniversary is coming up, and it's possible you may want to spend stones on today's banner. We'll talk about that in a minute. So make sure you get that done to get as many crystals as you can. And then let's back out of here, and then we're going to scroll down. Down and confirmed in-game issues. The only thing here that really matters is this top bug right here. It says there's a bug when attempting to use a skip ticket while having insufficient energy for that given stage will result in a message reading not enough energy, followed by the game returning to the title screen. The skip ticket is not consumed in these cases. I've dealt with this bug for, I, I want to say like two weeks now. It's really annoying. Just make sure that if you have no energy left, don't try to use a skip ticket. Instead, click the plus button at the top of your screen and add energy in some way before you try to use your skip tickets or else it'll error out and back you to the title screen screen so let's back out of here and then the next thing we need to look at just want to make sure i don't miss anything um the bug fix we can skip and then these two are back the fearsome android 19 and then another future the android menace so the um teen trunks that you can get from that event if you haven't done those make sure to do them for everyone that already has done them there's uh nothing crazy there that you need to worry about we're going to go ahead and skip those and then this is the intentional disconnects they're still telling people don't cheat blah 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 space time duel number 25 let's get into this right here so this is the new pvp season as we scroll down here we'll see that if you win you get the title super space time duel number 25 winner same as the last couple seasons let's go ahead and scroll down to the equipment item here so it's weight gohan it's for any defense type character so this is another one of those umbrella type equipment items where maybe you have a new character that came out and he doesn't have a lot of equipment options but he's defense type so you're going to want one of these just in case now let's go through the actual stats 13 percent to strike attack 15 percent to blast damage and then 13 percent to special move damage this is not a very good equipment item but it's an umbrella item like i said so just in case you might want to grab one only one don't get three of them because it's not very good it's a it's a fail safe item that's all you're going to grab it for and then we scroll down here we're going to see that the rewards for this season are pretty much the same as they've always been make sure you do all of your missions get to battle rank 40 and you'll get 300 chrono crystals which like i said are going to be very important because the anniversary is right around the corner we're about three weeks away and then as we scroll down here we'll see that the ranking rewards for the season, you know, up to battle rank 50, and then the actual ranking rewards down here, top 10,000, are all pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is you obviously get that super space time duel number 25 winner. If you happen to win, only one person can win, so chances are it's probably not going to be you. Sorry if I'm talking to the person who actually ends up winning. I don't mean to uh, offend you. So let's go ahead and back out of here. That's pretty much it for the PvP season. Nothing crazy there. And then we're going to scroll down and talk about this. They've added another Let's Fight. So Let's Fight Battle 2 has been added. And it's pretty much the same as the original Let's Fight. It just allows you to do it a second time. Gives you lots of friendship points, gives you a ton of experience, gives you skip tickets. Make sure you do this every single day. Um, and that's pretty much it for that. Let's back out of there. And then the next thing we need to talk about is there's an actual new event. So new event Kakarot, we're going to open this up and it's another one of those tower battles. So what we do is we scroll down here. I want to point out a few things. There are 50 levels to it, but there are only 30 levels available right now. Levels 31 through 40 will come out next week. And then 41 through 50 will be the week after that. As you go up in levels, each level will get a little bit harder than the last. And then you get a thousand chrono crystals when you clear the 50th level so in two weeks you're going to get a thousand chrono crystals keep that in mind whenever you're using any chrono crystals that you happen to use before the anniversary you are going to get a thousand more um, but that doesn't mean just go blowing whatever you have and then down here here are the actual things that you get as you go through the levels so you're going to get a master's pack 2 30 percent sparking chance ticket you're going to get seven of the master's pack 2 standard tickets and you are going to get one guaranteed sparking ticket for master's pack 1 obviously it's a fairly old banner with lots of old characters so it's not amazing but still you're going to get that and then you're going to get 14 masters pack one tickets you get the wrong person one star all the way up to 10 stars so i'm assuming probably every five stages you're going to get one of these titles that seems to be what would make the most sense we'll we'll see as we go through it and then skip tickets you get some of those and then you get a bunch of training items and some zenny and, and energy cool now let's scroll down here to the most important part this item 
is amazing. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is you can only use this equipment, believe in yourself, Gohan, on the Super Saiyan 2 Father Son Kamehameha Gohan. So you only need one, but absolutely get one of these and keep it. It really rounds out the Gohan. He wasn't super fragile before, and his melee attack wasn't absolutely terrible, but with these stats right here, it's gonna heavily round out the fact that he could do a ton of damage with Blast, and that was that was his main damage dealer. You're gonna get 10% to health restoration, so if you have another character on your team that heals Gohan, he's gonna get 10% more health, and when he heals himself with his own ability, he's gonna get 10% more. And then you can get up to 30% to strike and blast defense if you have three Sun family members on your team. So if you run the team that's from today's banner, the Step Up banner, you could have a ton of strike and blast defense, and then you can get up to 25% to strike attack. So all around, this makes him an absolute monster, even beyond what he was. This might actually push him up in the tier list a little bit higher if you have a good one of these rules. Now, I haven't looked to see where this actually drops yet but i'm willing to bet that it doesn't drop in the first 30 stages so we probably can't get it today but if we can that's an immediate huge upgrade to that gohan so let's move on to the next one we have this equipment item right here which is just three exclamation points 15 percent to strike defense 15 percent to blast attack and then 18 percent to strike attack so strike and blast attack obviously good strike defense is okay obviously hp would be better um generally this is for hybrid saiyans hybrid saiyans don't have a ton of uh just entire tag equipment items so it's probably a good idea to grab one of these maybe two but i'd say probably one because we're very short on the amount of equipment space that we can have um and that's pretty much what i would do there just farm for one really good one just as our fail safe in case whatever character you're running maybe it's a gohan maybe it's a, a go tanks they have two equipment items and you just don't have another good option here's a reasonable option that can give you uh, some good blast and strike attack and an okay defensive stat so then romantic drive is 15 percent to blast Blast attack, 13% to strike attack, and then 15% to either blast or strike attack. This is for female warriors. Female warriors do have a couple decent options. Um, if you happen to get into a situation where you have a female warrior that's blast based, this is okay. It's really not great for strike based. There's more than a few strike based options that give you more than 13% to strike attack. So if you plan on using a blast based female warrior, you might want to get one of these. If not, I don't think it's the biggest loss in the world. There are lots of ways to get these equipment items later. Um, this is one of the ones that if you need to skip some equipment items, I would probably say skip this one. And then let's go down to you making fun of me. So 15% to blast attack, 15% to strike defense, and then 15% to strike attack. It's Sagas from the Movies, which is a very good team. Now keep in mind that this is an equipment item that's returning along with the one right above. Always keep in mind that just because I say something is good and you should farm one or two or three, that's also factoring in however many you had before. So if you if it came from a prior event and you've already got a couple, you don't need any more. If you don't have good rolls, keep uh, obviously keep farming it and try to get a better roll. But this is another one of those items that you probably want like two of them, maybe three, because I guess there is a team that could be super offensive where you want strike and blast attack. But in most cases, sagas from the movies, you have some pretty good options for equipment depending on the different characters that you're using. So just keep that in mind. Probably want like two of those, um, but you're okay with one if you don't have a ton of equipment space, which I'm sure most of us don't. So then let's go ahead and back out of here and let's talk about, there's no crazy sale. We can skip that. Let's talk about the actual banner. So a lot of people have been saying they're in a predicament here because this is a step up banner and step up banners are normally amazing value. Well, yes and no. Bandai has shafted us a little bit and done us a favor so if we actually look at the way the banner works let's scroll down here to the actual step up it's not a true step up so once you get to step six it does not reset it stays at step six forever and step six actually has no added benefit to it it's just a thousand crystals you get 10 characters and then it says that you get four times the chance of pulling goten but what they're doing to pull the wool over our eyes is the initial chance to get goten is one quarter what it is for all of the other featured characters so essentially Essentially what it's saying is you have to get through the first five steps to have a standard chance of pulling all of the new featured characters from step six on. So in my opinion, because the anniversary is coming out, these characters are amazing. Don't get me wrong. They're very good, but you don't really get any benefit once you get to step six. I would say only go through step five, spend your 2100 crystals to get 38 characters and one guaranteed sparking pull on top of that, which still has a pretty good chance of getting you a Goten. Not amazing, um, but pretty good. And it could pull the father, son, Kamehameha, Gohan if you happen to get him from that ticket so in my opinion the best value for this is the first 2100 crystals and then after that it's probably a good idea to save for the anniversary so I'm going to rate this a three star Dragon Ball banner but it's just
just barely three stars and it's mainly because the first half that actually truly is a step up is very high value. With that being said, out of these three characters, the one that I really want to pull is the Goku. The Goten is cool, the Gohan is cool, but the Goku is the one that's going to make my Super Saiyan 2 Gohan extremely powerful and it allows me to round out my Sun Family team where I really needed one more character to run that. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I'd love to pull the other two and throw them on the team as well. They have great Z abilities, they synergize extremely well, but the key here is that Goku makes my Gohan an absolute monster. So you guys let me know which of these characters you want to pull or maybe you don't want to pull on any of them, you're going to completely skip. Let me know that too, throw it down below, let's talk about it, and if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.